on this episode of Packed. <laughs> We're checking out what's inside our full-size projector gaming kit. Welcome to A Game From A Box, this is Sergio AM, and on the last part episode, we said we're also putting together an upgraded version of this kit with a full-size projector and more that you can use with just about any gaming platform coming soon. It just won't be as portable. And well, here it is. Let's dive in. Before we get into it, this episode is sponsored by our friends over at Gamefly. As someone with a huge backlog of games that I can't get to, I constantly live with buyer's remorse, especially considering I could have rented them at a fraction of the cost and purchased a really nice home with all the money I saved. For my dog. A doghouse. Anyways, uh, a Gamefly subscription gives you access to over 8,000 games for PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, even titles from older consoles, and yes, they'll have games for next-gen PS5 and Xbox Series X. On top of that, they also have new movie releases. Gamefly gives you a great way to pull the trigger on games you're curious to try out, but more importantly, it'll also save you money. Even more so if you use our promo link down in the description below to sign up for three months of two-disc Gamefly for only $9.95 a month. No late fees, keep them as long as you want, but if you fall in love with a title, they do have a keep option where you can buy a game or movie at a discount and they'll even send you the original box, manual, and any codes that come with it. We're big fans of Gamefly, uh, they've been around for over 18 years, it's one of the smartest ways to play a wide range of games while saving some money. Especially when you consider that some next gen games may cost $70. Big thanks for their support, so guys, show them some love, click the link down in the description below, and let us know if you did down in the comments. As always, we begin with the bag. This is the DroneGuard BP400 Backpack by Lopro. Yes, it's meant for a drone, but it's perfect for everything we're looking to carry in this kit. So, it's... Hard shell with this nice geometric design, ridges on the side, and non-elastic loops on the front, which you can attach additional gear to. At the top, we have a straightforward handle that's nicely padded. Now on the back, we have our adjustable shoulder straps. They're padded with a breathable mesh and with two loops towards the bottom on each. Up here, we have our small zippers with large, easy to access pulls. And uh, let's get in there. Let's start off with these speakers. Although the projector has an integrated one, it's not that loud, so we recommend to hook up your own so the audio is up to par with that cinematic image. These specifically are Soundcore flares. There's new ones out there, but the originals are still great. They're wrapped in a durable, weaved fabric. They're waterproof with an IPX7 rating. They have customizable lighting via the app, which also lets you control a few other settings. And they pair together for stereo sound. Once set up, you just turn them on, They'll sync together, and then connect the master to whatever device you want. Either wireless via Bluetooth, or wired, which in this case we need because this projector does not have Bluetooth. So you hook one up to the projector, and then you can place the other across the room, which gives you a more immersive sound. Next, as a surprise to absolutely no one, is our Switch. This is the latest kit, and we're carrying it in Bionic's commuter case, which, yes, is still a favorite. In the first compartment, we have a Pokedex game card case. This one actually replaced our previous favorite by Bag2 because the lock broke so we can't safely keep it shut. It's a bummer, but this one works just as well, but it can only hold up to six games. Next, we have this awesome little microfiber cleaning cloth from Active Patch, makers of those awesome dock covers we've checked out in the past. Side note, we're actually gonna collaborate with them soon, so keep an eye out for that. Now, if I don't want to use the speakers, I also carry wireless earbuds with our current favorite being the budget-friendly Pamu Slide Mini. They fit well, pair quickly, sound great, have awesome battery life, and store safely in this tiny compact charging case. Remember, the Switch doesn't have Bluetooth for audio, so to use them with the Switch, we packed Genki's low latency Bluetooth adapter that can handle two simultaneous connections, pass through charging, and is thin enough to sit flush behind the Switch with case attached via this L adapter. Then we also have another pair of Joy-Cons which can be used together for co-op or individually for up to four players. Years later, and it's still one of my favorite features about the Switch. 
And to keep them together, we have Satisfy's handy Joy-Con rail. Simple, but effective, and you can even play with them like this. Next, we have what's become our favorite new accessory of the year, Genki's Covert Dock. This awesome alternative to the official dock is about 10 times smaller, but with the same functionality. I think they use kryptonite or some kind of technology in there, but uh, it, it's awesome. It has a retractable prong for power. And on the front, we have USB-C to connect and charge the switch. USB for accessories like adapters or controllers. And HDMI. But that's not all, because you can also use this to charge all your other tech and even output those screens via that HDMI port. That there makes this a must-have accessory for your Nintendo Switch everyday carry. Next, the Switch itself. We still have our trusty custom black Joy-Cons from Colorware, and our current case of choice is Moomba's stylish blade case in this awesome blue. Feels great in hand, it's very protective, it's dock compatible, which doesn't really matter in this kit, and most importantly, it fits in this bag. And that's what's in our Switch kit that goes in this kit. So as you can see, there might be enough room here for a console, but because we don't currently have an Xbox or PlayStation, we instead packed a Stadia controller, which fits perfectly in this space. It's in this awesome wasabi color, and I'm a big fan of this controller. It has a very round and organic design with this micro texture on the grips, which together feel really good in hand, along with awesome buttons and sticks, all of which are very responsive. As for the case, this one's by Orsley. It's got easy to use zippers, a wrist strap, and it's hard shell to protect against drops. The inside is lined with an incredibly soft microfiber. Then at the top, we have a two-in-one mesh divider and pocket for something thin like cables, but anything bigger may bump against the thumbsticks. Overall, a solid case, and for those wondering, it also fits the Xbox controller. So we're gonna save the projector for last, but first let's check out all the accessories over on the flap here. In this big roomy pouch, we have the projector's power adapter. Then in this dual pouch, we first have a retractable auxiliary cable by Cable Matters. It extends up to two and a half feet, which is all we need. And next to that, we featured it before, and that's another retractable cable, this time HDMI, also by Cable Matters. I've become a big fan of retractable cables. It's an awesome way to avoid cable clutter while also protecting them. Finally, we have this transparent pocket that holds our projector remote and a Chromecast Ultra with a tiny micro USB cable for power. We didn't pack the larger power adapter with ethernet port because that's only necessary for 4K, which we're not using here. For those who don't know, with a Chromecast, you can cast media from your device to whatever it's connected to. And now that also works with Stadia. But as I said, you should be able to fit an Xbox, PlayStation, or some other console in here as well. All right, so let's go back to the heart of this kit, which is BenQ's Terminator sounding TH685 projector. So while Pico projectors will always be a favorite due to their portability and all-in-one package, it's a, a jack of all trades situation because although it has a long list of features, it doesn't really excel at any one of them. Now, with a full-size projector, image is the main focus, which the TH685 nails and even goes above and beyond by throwing a few gaming features into the mix. Quick look around, zoom and focus adjustment rings, controls, but it also comes with a controller. In there, we have a 5-watt Travolo speaker that actually sounds pretty good in a small room, but you're better off with external ones, which is why we packed those speakers. At the bottom, we have three ceiling mount holes, but would have loved to have seen a quarter-inch thread. And we also have three adjustable rubber-tipped feet. Finally, at the back, we have all our I.O. There's audio in and out, two HDMI 2.2 that can be used in either enhanced or standard modes, one USB to power devices such as that Chromecast, VGA in and out, RS-232, and AC power. So the TH685 can project up to a massive 300-inch 1080p HDR image. It produces some beautiful, vibrant, and punchy colors that look incredible in or outdoors, you know, as long as it's dark, because it's a projector, due to its 3500 ANSI lumens that creates a very bright picture uh, that my neighbors did not appreciate. Now, unlike a normal projector, this one is geared towards gaming with an 8.3 millisecond response time and a 120 hertz refresh rate, which together gives you a faster, more fluid gaming experience, 
but only if you have the hardware and games that can take advantage of it, which <laughs> ironically, both the Switch and Stadia don't. They currently max out at 60 frames per second, so you're gonna need either an Xbox One X or a powerful enough PC. The latter, which we tested it with, to use it to that extent. During our use, we switched it from 30 hertz to 120 hertz, and although I can't show it on camera, we could definitely see and feel the difference. Aside from that, it also has other features such as Lumi Expert, which adjusts brightness to suit the room via that sensor, a ton of audio features, and it's also 3D capable, which I'm a big fan of, and more. All right, so why a projector over a TV or a more capable gaming monitor? At that point, it comes down to how creative you want to get. Just grab a console, get your friends together, and project on a wall, a ceiling, against the house, garage, dog, whatever dark surface you have, and just play. Have a tournament, team up in co-op, dust off some retro games, or just have a movie night. Sky's the limit. L literally, you, you can't project on the sky. But take my word for it, it makes for an incredible fun experience. Back to the bag, as you can see, I've arranged it so each side has cushioning to protect the projector in the center, and I use the cushions which are meant for the drone and controller at the bottom with this smaller one at the top. Then this strap down the middle, which doesn't really do anything, but yeah. So that's the kit. Uh, technically, you can take it on the go since you have everything you need in a backpack, but you will need power, and if you're using something like a Chromecast, you will need an internet connection. Eventually, I may find a place to permanently set it up, but for now, we're just having way too much fun using it in different locations around the house. Like I said, it's a blast to use, and once you experience this kind of cinematic gaming, it's really, really hard to go back. It's just so epic to gather around this big screen to play games, especially if they can take advantage of both that 8.3 millisecond response time and 120 hertz refresh rate. But I'm curious to know what you think of it. Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you change about it? Let's talk in the comments. Also, if you're looking to pick up anything featured in this video and want to support us at the same time, because this stuff gets very expensive, uh, check out the affiliate links down in the description below. Uh, guys, we're back. New baby, new home, worldwide pandemic, working from home, lots going on, but things are settling down a bit and we have a ton of content to shoot, including live streaming in September. So make sure to subscribe and ding the bell to stay notified. I appreciate every single one of you for sticking around and thanks for being patient. Once again, this is Sergio AM and I'll see you for the next box. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and want to help us out, you can do so by clicking that thumbs up button. And while you're at it, why not subscribe for more content? It's free. We also love to hear you out, so please leave a comment down below or talk with us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Sergio IM, and I'll see you for the next box.